got our pizza pass for today. We got stamps on stamps on stamps. What's up guys, I'm Delisa. I'm new to the city, but there's two things I know. New York has a lot of pizza and New York has a lot of culture. So I'm gonna go ask my friend Eric if he wants to go try some pizza from around the world with me. Do you wanna go try some pizza from like around the world? Now? Yeah, like, let's go. go. So are you excited for all the pizzas we're gonna try? I'm super excited. Pizza is my favorite food, like absolutely. Pizza is your favorite food? All time favorite. Tell me a little bit about growing up in Russia. Do you have pizza? So we had like this thing, it's called, um, it's called... Kachapuri. Oh my God, <laughs> she did her research. In Russia, we had this thing called Hachipuri, which is just like pita stuffed with cheese, which is really good. Like, you don't even have to melt the cheese. It's pizza time. I think she just brought me to carry her shit. And now we are on to Japan. Today we're gonna start, it's called the uh, Okonomiyaki, it's like a Japanese pancake. We have like what we call the uh, Osaka style Japanese o Okonomiyaki. A lot of people know it as uh, Japanese pizza, but we call that pancake. Alright, here's the uh, Okonomiyaki. Nice. Oh my god. Cheers. Are you ready? But I've never had this like combination of flavors in my mouth at once. Peas, carrots, bacon, eel sauce. It's like all hitting my tongue at different times. Can someone eat all of this? I'm gonna try. This is fish. Oh yeah, fish legs. What, like fish dandruff? The whole thing is baked with layers and layers of goodness. It's a pot. That's exactly what it is. Look at that. I said I don't know how to describe it, but I do. Cleaned it up. Hitting me with the itis, and I think what is itis? The itis is like you know after you eat a good ass meal, you're just kind of like oh I need a bed. You I have know? tendonitis. That's not anything near what this is. No. So where are we going next? We're going to Germany. Ooh, Germany. We're here at Viahaus NYC. And today we're gonna have the Elsass of Flammkuchen, which is um, basically a German style pizza. Here she comes. <gasps> I love the little, you see the little uh, little white piece? That's for the Jewish boy. Are we cheers in yet? Prost. All right. Yeah. I'm sorry, but the bacon is amazing. I'm not getting any beer today. I'm not getting any bacon. I'm gonna try each ingredient separately. Review it. Onion. That's a 10 out of 10 onion. Just the cross, nothing on it. It's like a perfectly made crack. While you're doing that, I'm gonna have another piece. I'm just gonna try the cheese, lick it off. I don't know what it is, but it's so it's good. So it's so good. Like, what is that? There's no cheese? It's sour cream, I told you. They're using sour cream and it's- You did not tell me that. Yes, I told you, you it wasn't cheese. Once you go sour cream, you never go back. It's not really a thing. I, I like that that was like the middle, like little snack. We had like a yeah, little yeah. snack. Yeah, it was like kind of, it was light. And now we get a feast again. And last but not least, we've got Brazil. Casa Teodoro is a Brazilian pizzeria in New York. It's called Frango Catupiry, which means like chicken and a Brazilian homemade cream cheese that we make here. Portuguesa pizza is the most popular topping in Brazil. Perfect. Okay, let's try it. Mm-hmm. I can't tell if it's because I'm so happy about this pizza or if it's the soda that's got me feeling right. I oh, yeah. knew Brazil for their soccer, but now I know them for their pizza. Maybe Italy just isn't the best in pizza. Oh. Oh, shit. Yeah, sure. People are very happy about the Nutella pizza with strawberries. Dessert pizza time. Oh, no. I need a moment. Don't touch me for 66 seconds. He's looking the pizza, isn't he? Why are you so nasty? I don't remember the last time I was this happy. Final thoughts. All right, Eric, we are back in Manhattan. So tell me, what did you think? I didn't even think you could make pizza anything but just like cheese and dough. There were so many like unique toppings. Honestly, they were all pizza combinations I never knew I needed. That's a really great phrase. But now I can never go back. That Nutella pizza was the best thing I've ever tried amazing. in my life. Like the Incredible. good thing about that pizza is like it could be breakfast pizza, lunch pizza, dinner pizza, midnight pizza, snack in the middle of the night pizza. It was an experience. 
and I'm glad we experienced it together. We're pizza buddies. But I will say that you're probably gonna find me passed out somewhere in the office in like 45 minutes.